G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna take you guys through uh, perhaps one of the best neck mobility exercises that I've seen as a therapist in my time training. Um, it's called a muscle energy technique. And I know that sounds a bit strange for some people. Uh, it probably doesn't for others, but it can sound a little bit weird when you say a muscle energy technique. Um, but essentially all it is, is that we wanna put uh, the specific segments of your neck into certain positions and then we want to activate the musculature in those areas while you're in that position and eventually it basically asks that tissue to release and relax uh, when you stop tensing. So it's, it's born out of, I guess, a proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation technique or a PNF slash contract relax, hold relax technique, um, but it works really well. So the way that we're going to structure this is we want to make sure that you guys do a test beforehand. So we're going to test your neck range to see how it feels. We want to do this uh, specific stretch and then we're gonna retest it again afterwards to make sure that you see an immediate change. Because we know now with the techniques that we're finding and we're figuring out, that if you're not seeing an immediate difference in your mobility after doing a stretch, then you haven't made a change. It's no longer good enough to just hold a stretch for 30 seconds, do it a couple of times a day, and then hope that it gets better over time. Because what we often find is that you can do a little bit of stretching, maybe you do feel a little bit better, but then the next day you're back at that same starting point. But by finding some immediate progress with these types of stretches, we can start to compound progress over time so that you're not going backwards and forwards on the spot. You can genuinely make progress over time, which is what we're here for. So, so I wanna make sure that when you do some neck range, just to test things out beforehand, take note of how it feels and how far you go and then be very brutal in your comparison afterwards so that you do see a change because this has to make you feel different and it should if you're doing it correctly. So if you don't see an immediate uh, improvement in some capacity, then go back to the beginning of this video and just go through the steps again because you deserve to see a change. You might not have been doing it correctly um, and if you do, you should see that it does make a good change. So hold me to it because um, that's what we're expecting from doing this. So, so the first step that we want to do, as I said, is we want to check out your neck range to begin with. And what I like to do clinically is the rotational stuff really gives us a good window into a lot of the neck uh, movement and so does the, the lateral bending. So we'll do those to begin with. So, so basically when we get you to rotate to one side, you should be able to get somewhere close to 90 degrees um, to be considered normal. Uh, again, this is irrespective of pain. We're not talking about pain here. We're just talking about range of motion. So when you go across to the other side as well, again, I don't know how far I can go in these directions. I know that when I get to this point, I feel a little bit tight-ish here. And then when I get around here, I feel a little bit jammed up on here. So for me, right up the top here is where I'll start with the stretch. Again, we'll get you to tilt to the side to see how far you can go. And tilt to the side to see how far you can go. And I'm a little bit stiff today. Again, if you want to look up and you want to look down, you can. It doesn't really matter. You just want to get a sense of how that feels and how far you go. So again, um, hopefully we'll have a good comparison at the end here. So. So basically to do this muscle energy technique, the second step after you've tested your range of motion is to choose a level. So I know for me, based on where I moved my head and neck, that right up the top towards the base of my skull felt a little bit restricted on my left hand side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my fingers up. So I'm gonna slide my fingers up the middle of my neck at the back. I'm gonna find the big bump in the middle and I'm just gonna slide my fingers out to the side a little bit. So if you can imagine that your neck is a cylinder we're not sort of 90 degrees at the side, we're probably more 45 degrees um, in that direction. And you'll feel like you'll be on the bony sort of columns that make up the joints of the neck. So if you're zero to 45, you'll probably find you hit some muscle tissue. We're gonna be a little bit wider than that so you can feel some bony, bony spots. Now, because I wanna do my left hand side here, uh, the direction that I move my head is important. So, so if you're up nice and tall, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna uh, localize it to the segment or the level that I want to mobilize. So I want to look up slowly until I feel some subtle movement happen where my fingers are. So if you're paying attention, because I'm right up the top, it'll only be subtle, it's not a big movement, but if you move up a little bit, you'll feel like that segment starts to move a fraction. So we want to pause at that point. And then again, what we want to do here is we then want to move our head away from the side that we're doing. So because I want to do my left hand side here, I'm going to tilt my head to the right again until I feel like that movement happens at that joint. And then what I want to do a third time is I want to then turn my head away from that side until I feel like the movement stops in that spot. So essentially what I've done is I've looked up 
I've tilted to the side away and I've rotated away until I feel like I've included this section specifically in the conversation. So when I found this position, I just, I just generally make a fist. I put my fist on my cheekbone and then with my head and I hold my fist steady, I want to push my head back into my fist so I feel the musculature on this side tense up. And so segmentally what I'm doing is I'm isolating an area and then I'm tensing to get that tissue to activate. And then when it activates and then I relax, it then releases a little bit. So that from this position, what I'll find is if I do the same thing again, so I come back to the middle, I look up again until I hit that spot, I tilt off to the side until it comes in, I rotate away until I feel like it comes in. I've actually got a little bit more range of motion this time straight away. Making a fist, pushing back into the fist with my head. Again, not letting my fist move, but trying to imagine I'm trying to move my fist with my head. You should feel the muscle under this finger tense up a little bit. Hold that for about five to 10 seconds and then relax and then repeat this a third time. And then again, automatically, it feels like it's a little bit further before that tissue comes in again. Hold it for a couple of seconds and then relax. All right, and just doing that one segment, what I can then do is then retest and all of a sudden it feels like I can go a little bit further than I could before. And then I go back to the other side, so it feels a little bit looser. Tilting off to this side all of a sudden feels a bit looser. Hopefully you can see that because this is the side that I stretched. And then come back to the other side again, it still feels a fraction tight on this side, so I can do the same thing on the other side. And then looking down, looking up, it just feels a little bit more mobile. So again, I'll do this right side just to even it up a little bit. So again, on my right hand side, I'm at that 45 degree angle, feeling the bony aspect. I'm looking up a little bit until I feel that segment get included. And I'm tilting away from that side a little bit until I feel it get included. Then I'm twisting away for a little bit. And then again, making a fist on the cheekbone, pushing back into that, activating that, holding it for a couple of seconds. So it looks really weird to do this, but it works really well and then relaxing. So then again, I'll do that two more times and then pushing back. So again, you want to make sure that you're not pushing your fist into your head. You want to keep your fist steady, push your head into your fist. It really helps include those muscles in that conversation. And then we'll do one more, looking up, tilting away, rotating away, and then pushing back into that holding it for a few seconds all right and then doing the same thing again and all of a sudden again hopefully hopefully you can see this on the on the video but it just feels looser straight away so it's a really really great way to isolate a specifically tight area and then put it in a position that really localizes it then activate that muscle to gently pull it apart and then you should have some immediate changes in your range of motion so ideally when you're turning from side to side or tilting from side to side or looking up and down, you will get a general sense of where you might feel restricted and on what side. It ultimately doesn't really matter because if you want to take your time and just work your way down each segment, you will see which ones feel tight and which ones feel stiff. And if you can just work your way through that, in the space of five or 10 minutes, you can really figure out which sections of your neck are restricted and you can go to work on freeing those up in a really quick way. So, Again, I highly recommend doing that. It's a really fast acting stretch. It's a great way to loosen up some of that restricted tissue. What's really important with this is we need to make sure that you're understanding why that's become tight. So if you feel like for me, for example, this upper section here is a little bit tighter than the rest, there has to be a reason why that's become tight. It doesn't just happen. It's absolutely not age related. It's not, um, it's not bad luck. You didn't sleep funny. Ultimately, it's a consequence of the shapes and the positions you put that area into day to day. And for most people, and for me, for example, it might be looking down. So, so again, it might be the opposite, where you're looking down and then looking off to the side and including that segment, much in the same way that we're trying to isolate those segments with the muscle energy technique. So, so I guess what we're finding is if you're looking down, if that's a position that you're in all the time, you're overloading a section of your body and then you're in that position for a while and it has to get tight and stiff to support that shape. So ultimately what I want to get across here is if you can uh, nail exactly where you're restricted on what side, you should then be able to figure out what position that you're getting into day to day, whether it's the computer, the couch, uh, driving, phone, reading a book, playing an instrument, whatever it might be. 
you'll be able to figure out exactly where that has become tight. So you can do this technique to free it up quickly, but then you need to make sure that you're pairing that up with better postural habits so that it doesn't keep having to tighten up. You don't have to keep doing these exercises long term. So, so again, it's a really important piece of information to get across um, because if you're not thinking of it in that light, then you won't be able to make that sort of compounding progress over time. So, so again, hopefully that was helpful. Um, that muscle energy technique is a really, really good one. Let me know in the comments below how you found it. Um, again, you might have to go back and go through this slowly just to make sure you're doing it correctly. But ultimately, it should make a really big change to how you feel. So um, if it has, let me know by leaving a like rating down below. Uh, consider sharing this to someone who may need some neck mobility. Um, there's quite a few of us. Um, and ultimately, again, if you're happy to follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, it'll just help us grow and help these videos get to more people. So, uh, so in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.